Welcome to chapter two of our story. The scene opens with a lodge blanketed in snow, where the morning light struggles to break through the thick veil of white. The frost clings to the windows, and the wind howls outside, echoing through the wooden halls like whispers from the past. Inside, the characters find themselves trapped by the storm, isolated within the creaking walls of the lodge. The atmosphere is heavy with unresolved emotions and the echoes of laughter from the night before. Join us as we delve into the unfolding events of this chapter. As Clara steps into the common room, the flickering flames of the fireplace cast long shadows that seem to reach out to her. Ben is already there, his tall frame hunched over a steaming mug of coffee. His dark hair falls into his eyes, and a hollow smile plays on his lips. The usual laughter is absent, replaced by a thick tension that hangs in the air. Maya enters, her long, wavy black hair cascading over her shoulders. Her warm brown eyes dart between Clara and Ben, sensing the emotional weight between them. Moments later, Lila bursts in, her vibrant red curls bouncing with her every step. Her bright blue eyes sparkle with excitement, seemingly oblivious to the storm brewing within the group. The friends gather around the fireplace, but the storm outside intensifies, mirroring the chaos within. Clara feels a chill run down her spine, a premonition that today will be unlike any other. Driven by curiosity, Maya suggests exploring the lodge further. Clara feels a flicker of hope, thinking that uncovering the lodge's secrets might help them confront their own demons. As they move through the shadowy corridors, Lila's laughter echoes, but it feels strained. The walls seem to absorb their joy. Clara's pulse quickens as they stumble upon a hidden room, its door slightly ajar, beckoning them with an eerie allure. Inside, the room is filled with relics of the lodge's history, old photographs, vintage ski gear, and dusty journals. Clara's breath catches as she recognizes a familiar face in one of the photographs. Her heart clenches painfully. It's her injured friend, the one whose accident has haunted her for years. The spirit of that friend lingers in the air, a reminder of the guilt Clara has tried to bury. As the friends sift through the relics, the atmosphere thickens with tension. Ben's laughter fades, replaced by a distant look in his eyes as he confronts his own memories. The storm outside rages on, mirroring the turmoil within the lodge. Clara knows they can no longer hide from their fears. The spirits are restless, and the time for confrontation is drawing near. As the friends stand amidst the relics of the past, the air crackles with anticipation. The storm outside continues to rage, a tempest that mirrors the turmoil within the lodge. Clara feels the weight of their shared history pressing down on them, the unspoken resentments bubbling to the surface, threatening to erupt. Ben is lost in thought, confronting the emotional barriers he has built around himself. The visions of his past relationship flicker before him, urging him to reevaluate his choices. Clara knows that they can no longer hide from their fears. The spirits are restless, and the time for confrontation is drawing near. The friends must face the explosive confrontations that await them as the storm outside mirrors the chaos within. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the unfolding events of this chapter.